Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, we're going to be using the James Charles by Morphe Artistry Palette. So if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep watching. So before we begin, I've already applied some concealer on my eyelid. And this one is ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. You can use any base that you like. This is going to give you an even toned surface to work on as well as help any eyeshadow just stick on there a little bit more. Next, I will be taking this little brush right here by Morphe Brushes and this shade from the James Charles palette and I'm going to start applying that all in my crease area. Now, this brush doesn't have a number because it was from one of their bundle sets that I had bought a long time ago, so I'm sorry about that. But as you can see here, I'm going to take a little bit of product at a time and I'm just going to slowly layer it on there. I don't want to take too much or I don't want to make this line too thick because I'm going to try to keep this blend as close to my lid as possible without taking it too far up towards my brow. If that makes any sense y'all I hope you guys can get the gist uh, just by watching what I'm doing. So I'm just also going to wing it out like so. Take a little bit with a very light hand and just apply this on there. Next, I'll be using the same brush, picking up this hot pink from the same palette, and I'm going to apply this above the purple shade. Now, with a very light hand, I'm going to start to blend this purple upwards. So, as you can see here, I am very, I am using very small circular motions, and I am just very lightly tapping it and blending it upwards. Next, I'll be taking this brush and notice it's like a little flat square. I want to use a brush that is a little bit more dense just to help me. I'm going to apply this in the same area that we applied the first purple shade since the intensity was a little bit lost during the blending process. I find sometimes in order to get that perfect blend, you must go back and forth in between steps, adding and taking away shadows. And because blending is a process, we all know that. Just be patient, guys, and I promise it'll all work out. So as you can see, I'm just lightly smudging this upwards as well and just going back and forth really until I like the intensity that it is at. Next, I'm going to be blending this pink shade upwards with a clean, very tiny blending brush. And as you can see here, I am just very lightly smudging this upwards. As you can already tell, we are going to diffuse these edges until the blend is as soft as I can get it, pretty much. So as you can see, I'm just going to slowly go down the line. I'm going to just fast forward this part, but I like to leave it in so you guys can see the progress. I'm going to try to keep this blend as close to my crease line as possible. I don't want it to go too far up where the brow area is. Obviously, you can take it as high or as low as you prefer. Now here, I'm just taking a very s small smidge of that pink shade again. And I'm just going to use this to buff upwards just very lightly because I want it to be a little bit more vibrant. So next, I'm going to be taking just a hint of that yellow shade for the last step of this blend. I really want to apply this at the edge just so that we can give it a little bit more color to it. You can see how it's starting to look a little bit like a tropical sunset. And you can totally skip the yellow if you like. It's all up to you. So let me just fast forward this part so that we can move on to the cut crease. Next, I'm going to be taking the same concealer that we used in the beginning and I'm going to carve out my crease on a small e.l.f. concealer brush. I am just going to do this really quick. So here I'm just going to speed up the clip so that you can still see the shape of the crease that I'm going to achieve today. So originally I was going to go for a different look but ended up applying glitter all over the lid itself. The glitter that we'll be using today is the Pixie Dust Violet Voss Glitter Topper. So I gotta warn you guys before you move on any further, um, instead of using concealer to cut the crease here, you might want to consider using the baby oil technique where you can just remove anything 
off your eyelid. The reason being is this glitter may work better directly on your skin as a glitter topper rather than over concealer because over concealer it is definitely going to crack a little bit over time. If you are trying to wear this look on a night out or for some special event I would definitely recommend not putting concealer right under it. That totally slipped my mind and uh, during this look yeah it started to crack once it started to dry so <laughs> try not to make that same mistake that i did i was still able to make it work for the photo and whatnot but just giving you guys a heads up so here i am using a small brush just to apply more of that glitter topper um, i felt like the applicator wasn't working as well because of the concealer so again do not use concealer underneath this glitter i mean if you do find that it works then definitely let me know in the comments what you did differently i would love to know next i'm going to be applying that purple shade for the lower lash line and then i'm going to slightly blend it out with some of that hot pink to highlight, I'll be using one of my new favorites by Ofer Cosmetics called Space Baby. And for mascara, I'll be using this volumatic, volumatic mascara by LA Girl Cosmetics. I will also be taking this Shockwave Neon Liner by LA Girl Cosmetics for my waterline. And lastly, I'm going to be applying these eyelashes by Visual Elves. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed week and we'll see you next time.